Morning, everyone. My name is Mitch Novick. I am the chairman of the Miami-Dade County Historic Preservation Board. At this time, I'm opposed to digital kiosks. However, I'm not here to speak on that issue. I was not at all surprised that crime appeared to have exploded during Christmas week. Our fine police visited almost daily to view my security camera footage, which still regularly assists in making arrests of hardened criminals. There was the disturbing hit and run outside my hotel in which the victim still remains hospitalized. There was the group of thugs who robbed customers leaving mangoes. There was the Friday afternoon brutal attack where the tourist resisted giving up her cell phone and was pummeled in the face with punches by some scumbag. This commission has repeatedly proven it is unable to ensure the public safety of residents and visitors to our city. To reiterate my two-year concern, what's happening has never been a police issue. It has always been entirely a zoning issue. Open-air entertainment and the assaulting noise associated with it is the crux of our problems. Entertainment is an incompatible use when abutting residential and hotel use. In fact, the MXC classification was created right here on Miami Beach and according to my cursory research, isn't found in any other state. Recently, you've squandered more millions of public dollars on police and security to fix a problem which seemingly has deteriorated further. Since Commissioner Ariola's ill-conceived and fundamentally flawed 10-point plan was adopted, yes, it was crafted primarily by Mangos, the Clevelander, and their lobbyists. We've had multiple shootings, a murder, a horrific sexual assault, and countless violent incidents along Ocean Drive. Today, you've clearly run out of options. Do you still believe the unrestricted noise and the perpetual carnival-like crime-ridden circus along Ocean Drive has nothing to do with it? It's almost as if you're in denial. But that's not the case. I assert you've all been corrupted by Ocean Drive special interests. Yes, I'm talking again about Mangos, the Clevelander, and others who've contributed thousands and thousands of dollars to many of your political campaigns. And moreover, on today's consent agenda, there's a $10,000 gift from Mangos to the city. Is this gift some sort of quid pro quo? Can any of you show you're not beholden to these Ocean Drive special interests? It's high time to clean up your act To be effective as public servants, you must learn how to tell your friends no. It's time to implement noise restrictions and, equally important, carry through with the Ocean Drive closing time rollback, which voters overwhelmingly support and expect. You've sold the city short and have failed my community. You've each sold out your integrity and have done a disservice to our city. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. But besides that, you're happy with us. Sure. I like you all personally. I want to make sure. Okay. Is there any retort, any comment? No. Okay. I think that was a great speech. And I Thanks. think that, you know, I think that, you know, and I don't speak for everybody, myself, but I think that that was phase one. And I think we should see how things go, Mitch. And I Come think on, if, Phil. We've had don't murder, go very well, shootings, we're gonna go to, and things we're, go we're going to go to phase two. You need to implement that today before spring break kicks in. I'm and you of, could do it. I'm you're the of, guy who can I'm do it. I'm one of seven. Hey, Six others. put it on as an Thanks, emergency Mitch. item today. Address that noise issue, Mitch. even the rollback. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.